After facing criticism, Governor Kathy Hochul is once again calling for changes to New York's bail laws. All right, Fox 5's Morgan Mackay in the newsroom with a closer look at her proposal and the reaction it's getting from others in her party. Morgan. Stephen Natasha, bail reform took effect in 2020, and since then, changes have been made to the law twice. Now, Governor Kathy Hochul is proposing making changes for the third time. But will lawmakers be convinced? Governor Kathy Hochul is once again proposing to give judges more discretion when setting bail. Right now, judges have an inconsistency in the law. They're told to consider the least restrictive means, which means least restrictive means to get them back to show up in court. This least restrictive standard that Hochul wants to remove from the law sets parameters that judges must follow when deciding bail. But Hochul and even Mayor Eric Adams have said this has done little to deter repeat offenders. Certainly least restrictive means would make sense for first offenders, low level cases. But when it comes to people who are repeat offenders, for example, and they have a history, that a judge should be able to look at that history and make the determination based on that. But bail reform advocates argue that this least restrictive standard already allows judges to look at a person's criminal history and flight risk. Without this standard, legal aid says more people will end up in jail before they are convicted of any crime. Setting bail is to prevent people from fleeing uh, to avoid prosecution. Legislatures need to start investing in solutions that are shown to help. This proposal has been made before, but has been met with strong roadblocks in the state legislature. Democratic State Senator James Skoufis is one of a handful of Democrats who has been vocal about the need for changes to cashless bail. When I go up to Albany and I say, well, we should revisit bail reform and do X, Y, and Z, half of the people in the room with me who are Democrats want to chop my head off. Skoufis says there can be other guardrails in place to be sure there is not discrimination. And that might mean, for example, monitoring judges and having an independent evaluator at the end of the year, at the end of the month, come in and literally case by case look and examine how you treat these people with these demographics. But advocates are hopeful that the leaders in both houses are not pressured by the governor to make changes to the law. Focusing on bail reform, it's really a distraction away from addressing crime. And that means focusing on proven solutions. Again, bail reform is not leading to a rise in crime. And an interesting note in this, Stephen Natasha, Governor Hochul did confirm for me today that this proposal will be part of the budget process. Now, this is a time when Hochul has the most bargaining power during the legislative session. In the past two times bail reform was changed was in the budget. So this practice of pushing through controversial policy items during budget negotiations, it's a common practice for almost every governor, but it has been criticized in the past. Stephen Natasha. Yeah, interesting. All right. Thank you, Morgan.